Right. So there's been a bit of a meme going around the internet lately in regards to Momo and Aizen from Bleach. Obviously. And while I've sat on this interesting theory for a while, there's been nothing more to say about it in terms of a video until, well, recently. So, what is this video about? There's no dancing around it other than saying, did Aizen slap his meat on Momo's peach? Because, you know, demonetization and whatnot. As much of a weird topic as it sounds, there's actually a lot to learn from this discussion. Trust me. By the end of the video, you'll figure out a new sympathy for Momo Hinamori, and maybe find out a new distaste for Aizen. So, let's get into it. From what we know of our characters Momo Hinamori and Aizen Sosuke, this relationship was a student and captain dynamic. While Momo was very close to Aizen clearly because she was Aizen's lieutenant, meaning that she was second in command for his squad, it makes sense she would be so close to her captain. But as we got to learn throughout the story, Aizen had handpicked her to be his second in command at the time because she was very easy to manipulate. This is where the rabbit hole goes. Maybe much deeper into the concept of Momo's character, which I would love to discuss in a future segment. But as far as this specific topic goes, however, it is very apparent what Momo suffers from is definitely trauma, and will leave the theory to go as far as maybe Stockholm Syndrome. I always believe that Momo's actions and feelings were a bit disillusioned in the eyes of the audience, essentially meaning that we didn't really get to understand how far down the dark path Momo was in because we seem to forget the amount of time people spend in the Soul Society and how people age. We really don't know how long Momo herself has been under the influence of Aizen's manipulation, whether that's by normal psychological trickery or through the power of his Shikai's hypnosis. However, it's all the same. Momo's admiration alone started roughly 50 years from the start of the series when she was just a student. So it is then safe to assume at least 20 years under his wing as a squad member slash lieutenant. I don't think people realise that 20 to 50 years is more than half of some people's life expectancy. And to be ripped off of that much time of your perspective reality under normal circumstances is beyond modern psychological treatment. So the theory goes as follows. Just before Aizen had quote-unquote faked his death in the Soul Society arc, the night before Momo visits Aizen's room because she can't sleep due to all the stress about being in potential war with the Ryoka, etc., she goes to Aizen for comfort and ends up sleeping in his room, more specifically, his bed. Now, while this seems very clear-cut on what happened, many wouldn't pick up on some of the details as the anime removed, if not almost every part of this scene and even changing context of the dialogue where she falls asleep on the floor and remains in her Shinigami uniform, which in the manga showcases a completely different scenery. Now, as Kubo is writing for a boys magazine, there is a lot Kubo has to censor and rules he has to abide by. So he has to write his intentions in a very undertoned manner. This has also been the case with Oda's series One Piece, where two characters talking to each other by their first name in a certain tone have much more of a deeper meaning as confirmed by Oda in an SBS Q&A, explaining that certain adult elements should be hidden in shonen manga. Why this topic is being discussed however is because Kubo himself addresses a similar tone in his own Q&A when asked about Momo and Aizen's relationship and if it was ever, I quote, physical. Kubo's reply to this was, I think it would be more interesting if I didn't answer this question. So I won't. You can take this in two different ways. You can assume he likes to keep the idea of people creating their own headcanons towards the two characters or the details of the situation were a bit too dark for him to disclose. Admittedly, saying Aizen and Momo had a physical relationship doesn't seem all that difficult to confirm, but this is where the topic or meme of the discussion has arisen itself online. So let's address these hidden details if you have missed them. Momo walks into Aizen's barracks in Nightwear, to which she sits on a futon, a common Japanese style of bedding. The pillows are placed at the end of the futon, opposite to where you would sleep. Aizen gives Momo his overcoat as a form of security and she wears it for the remaining of the conversation. We then see Momo sleeping in the futon with pillows scattered all over, implying two people slept in it, or a lot of movement was happening for one person. Hmm. This overcoat that Aizen gave Momo had been removed at this point and Aizen leaves the room silently, to which the next morning we find his fake death on the Soul Society's walls, which clearly tips Momo over the edge. If Aizen did in fact plow Momo, this would be the perfect time to do it. You would have essentially given the girl the moment of her dreams or the peak of her devotion only to take it away from her in a matter of moments, making her outburst seem exceptionally reasonable. But the debate gets well, weirder. 
Was it even Aizen that slept with Momo? Remember in the turn back the pendulum arc, Aizen was able to trick his captain, Shinji Hirako, with a random no-name Soul Reaper due to his illusion ability? But of course, training this Soul Reaper to speak and act like him to convince those around him. Well, the theory goes that it was that guy that was with Momo that night and slept with her. While personally, I am more so that Aizen was in the room that night, I can't overlook some key components. As Aizen left the room, there was a mysterious Soul Reaper foot. Aizen stated that he only left Central 46 for a few hours for captain meetings, and he was the one making the orders on Rukia's sentence and the Soul Society's wartime actions. While I do believe it was Aizen in the specific situation, his time management is extremely precise. But maybe that's why Kubo refused to answer the question, because maybe it was in fact that dark. And much like this video, it will have to be left up to the reader's interpretation. But what we can almost say is that there is decent evidence to suggest that yes, Momo has that freshly baked, oven ready cream pie. But that's all for now. I'm going to catch you more folks later. You guys, of course, have this fine day been handsome. And as always, people, um, peace out.